General, Colonel, Mr. Vice President, officers and men, I want to express on behalf of us all our very warm appreciation to you for your salute tonight. I was invited a month ago by General Shoup to come here to see whether the instructions given by President Thomas Jefferson to Colonel Burroughs in regard to constructing a barracks here, which would be near to the Navy Yard, and also, in his phrase, within easy marching distance of Washington, would be carried out. I also, uh, to my uh, dismay, learned that one more impressive Washington title did not have as much significance as I had thought. I had always enjoyed the title of Commander-in-Chief until I was informed by General Shoup tonight that the Marines who are here and others like them in this area and many others can be moved around at his command, and that the only forces that cannot be transferred uh, from Washington without my express permission are members of the Marine Corps Band. They are the only forces that I have. But I want to announce that we propose to hold the White House against all odds, at least for some time to come, and uh, we are determined to maintain the spirit which uh, you have shown tonight. All of us are proud of the Marine Corps, and we recognize that the qualities which have made uh, this drill tonight so distinctive are the same qualities which uh, several weeks ago permitted uh, General Shoup and Admiral Anderson to state that they could put uh, several thousand Marines ashore at Bangkok in 48 hours, and uh, when pointed to a place on the map of Thailand, a good deal to the north, said that they could put them there a day later, and there uh, some of them still stay. It proves that uh, the new breed are as good as the old breed, and I can think of uh, no higher compliment. All of us, uh, I'm sure 10 years ago, thought that the need for uh, the man with the rifle would be passing away from the scene in the 1960s. And it is true that there are a good many Americans tonight who are stationed underground in a hardened silo, whose only a duty is to uh, watch uh, some tables and some dials and a button. But the very uh, size and magnitude of these uh, new great weapons have placed a new emphasis upon which we call, what we call, rather strangely, conventional war. And they have uh, made it even more mandatory than ever that we keep uh, the man with the rifle. And that's what the Marine Corps has emphasized. No matter how complicated war has now become, we need a Navy which can take uh, ships close into shore. We need an Air Force that can protect those ships. We need small boats that can take men on a beach and we need men who will go ashore. The Marine Corps, the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, they do that. And I hope that the people of this country and all those who look to this country for their independence know how indebted they must be to those of you who serve, the officers and men. And it's a great satisfaction for me to be able to report that uh, President Thomas Jefferson's command has been very successfully carried out.